Let me get my Sims 2 soundtrack on. I'm back. <laughs> Second stream of the day. Welcome everyone. <laughs> I hope you had a good hour that I was gone. Um, I have returned and we're going to play The Sims now. So, yes, it's been very long. <laughs> it's been a very long time, terrible even, <laughs> but I'm back, so. I'm excited, we'll play a little bit of the Not So Berry Challenge and stuff this evening, so. Long time no see. So good to see you all again. You know what? Something I've noticed about wearing these headphones after I just cut my hair is that my hair looks funny. <laughs> like, like poking out from the bottom of them. Does it look funny? Don't say it. I don't think it does, but maybe a little. It's my hair's the same size as the headphones. <laughs> the headphones are so big. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna play a little bit of Not So Very. We're kind of starting the fourth generation today because um, the fourth generation, we've kind of like finished all of the yellow gens. So we're kind of starting the, the gray gen stuff now um, that they're a little bit older and that we're sort of getting to be the right time to play with them. So it should be fun. Um, why does it say zero viewers? It just hasn't updated yet. I just went live again, so it's taken a second. Um, it just needs a minute. <laughs> um, never make it this early? Well, hello, welcome in. It's good to see you. Oh, my Sim is mortified. Could you imagine if he died? <laughs> if the heir that we had worked all this time with just died? That would actually be really sad. I wouldn't be, I, I would laugh, but it would, that would suck. <laughs> I'd laugh about it, but it wouldn't be that funny. So, um, anyway. <laughs> it's a good thing we've got a backup. <laughs> um, but, did Mubot not work? Oh, maybe, the, is the command off? See, maybe? No, the teens can die from emotional deaths, I think, Beck. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I've had any of them have that happen, but, um, it is possible. Second time today. Yep, this is my second stream today. <laughs> I literally went off stream for like 40 minutes and I ate some lunch and now I'm back. So, <laughs> it'll be fun. Um, like we joked about, long time no see. Um, so, we're kind of on the gray gen now of Not So Berry. Um, we're just working through some, some of this new stuff. The Sims literally just aged up into teens. Um, and so we've been kind of working on the skills and stuff of the gray gen. Um, so that's what we've been up to. Um, you're just watching one of my YouTube videos before this, really? <laughs> I have been, I mean, I've streamed for three hours already today and I posted a YouTube video and now I'm gonna stream again. So there is a lot of Simsy content on this fine, what day is it, Tuesday? <laughs> There's a lot of Simsy content on this fine Tuesday. So, um, but, oh, Fern, I hope you feel better. I'm really sorry, friend. I guess I'm kind of, I guess I'm streaming extra today because, well, one, I wanted to, but also I feel bad because I'm going to be gone this weekend. Um, I'm going to be at TwitchCon this weekend, so I won't be able to stream a ton after tomorrow because um, I'm going to be going to TwitchCon in San Diego, so I thought I might stream an extra time today um, just to hang out a little, you know? Um, that was, that was the idea, so. <laughs> Long time, no see, but I'm excited about it. I'm also excited about San Diego. It's gonna be fun to see people and stuff. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm a little bit nervous about it. <laughs> um, yeah, the Sims, they're great because um, their mom is an alien. So um, they've got a little bit of uh, the blue in them. <laughs> That's why they're gray. <laughs> it's also funny because they're the gray gen, so it kind of works out. They are gray, they're the gray gen, but they're, they're half alien, so. Um, that's why. Mortified from school, it seems. We were joking about um, how he might die, but hopefully not. Yeah, I'll just be gone for the weekend. I'll, um, I don't think I'll be back home. I'm getting back kind of late at night on Monday, so I don't think I'll be able to stream on Monday, but um, I'm gonna stream on Tuesday, like normal, and I'll stream tomorrow. So it's gonna be a little bit of time that I'm gone, but um, I'm streaming tomorrow in the morning, and then I'll be gone on like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, basically, so. Um, school is a valid reason to be mortified, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him, <laughs> so... Okay, actually, speaking of, I might have him work on his skills just a tiny bit, so maybe I'll go have him, um, like, go to the bathroom and then we can go to the... I was gonna go to the gym, because he needs to, like, work out. 
push limits for an hour while energized and own two pieces of workout equipment. We don't have enough space in the house for extra workout equipment. The house is too small. <laughs> Oh no, maybe I could buy like, we could probably fit a treadmill. Maybe I'll just put it in the yard. I don't like it right there. Maybe I'll put it in the front yard. Thoughts? He has a punching bag. He has a punching bag in his bedroom. So we do have that at least. But will I be vlogging at TwitchCon? Oh God, no. I'm not a vlogger. I've tried a couple times to make vlogs. I'm not a vlogger. I'm just not. <laughs> so I don't think I'll vlog at TwitchCon. I actually did think about it a couple days ago. I was like, oh, it might be kind of cute. And then I was like, well, first of all, I don't think my YouTube channel cares about it that much. And also I suck at that. Like I'm not the, I'm also not the type to like pull out my camera when I'm like around people that I know in real life. You know, so I just, um, I don't know. I don't think I don't think I'll vlog. No, I don't usually vlog at conventions. So, um, but anyway, yes, we do. Well, you're on my Twitch channel. That's the thing, Cat. You might care because you're watching my streams. But think about how many people on YouTube don't even know what Twitch is, let alone what TwitchCon is. You know, <laughs> there's so many people that just don't care. <laughs> you care, but that's different. We here are different. <laughs> You know what Twitch is. So, um, but anyway, it's, it's hard to, it's, yeah, exactly. It's hard to pull interest for a TwitchCon vlog here because everyone here would care more than I think my average YouTube audience. But I just also, I'm not a vlogger. I'm not good at it. So, um, I don't, I've never vlogged an event like that before. So some of us are going to hang out at the Harbor tonight. You want in? Yeah. Storm has accepted the invite, but now she needs to find a way there. She could ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches her. I'll ask for permission. I'm not a bad person. I don't need to lie. I don't need to lie. I would be really surprised if they didn't say yes, right? Did they say no? Oh my god, your parents suck. I'm sorry. How will you go on? You love vlogs of filming in public seems so awkward. Yes, I'm the same way. I love to watch vlogs, but like the thought of filming in public, like I just, I know it's like it, a place like TwitchCon, it's common. Most people are live streaming, but like it's very, very normal, at least at a convention. But like, I can't do it. I can't even like talk to a camera really. Like I, I even this camera, like, well, I mean, in real life, this camera, I'm fine because I'm in my own room, but like, it's, it's just different when you're trying to talk to a camera that you're holding. I'm used to this. This I'm very familiar with. <laughs> my meet and greet's on Friday at TwitchCon, Airy. It's on Friday at noon, and then I have a panel on Saturday at TwitchCon. Yeah, I fought with my siblings once. I know. I've done a couple vlogs, um, but that was in uh, the middle of nowhere, Illinois. There was nobody around, so it wasn't as scary. And also, I was like 16. So... The vibes were different back then. <laughs> the vibes were different back then. Okay, I'm gonna practice punching and push the limits. Wait, no, what if you take a brisk shower? Cause he has to get energized and then push the limits. So we can do that. Good idea. Practice punching, push the limits. Very nice. When did I move to Florida? Oh, ages ago, when I was like five. Um, I'm from Illinois, my whole family's from Illinois, so we um, go back there for Christmas and stuff. Um, but I've, I've been in Florida since I was a child. <laughs> I lived here for a long time. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try and read some subs here. Give me a sec. <laughs> Say mom and Gremlin and Trin and Kay and Like and we got Ovo and Hyde and JD and Kirby and Holly. Uh, Miss Bliss and Giggly and Cammy and Meg and Sue and Danielle and Simmer and Jojo and Anna and T-Wright and Purple and Dog and Happy and Spacey, uh, Ose and Simmer and Rose and Sven. Thank you all so much for those resubs, by the way. Um, this kid's name is Grave. In honor of all the graves in the front yard. Oh my god, it's 1 a.m. What? Why I, I wasn't paying attention? Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was so late. Oopsies. Okay, my bad. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'll send the sims back to bed, back to bed. <laughs> I didn't realize it was so 
late. <laughs> no, that's really bad. Oops. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they're gonna film the Twitch panel or not, Finn. I haven't uh, gotten a chance to ask them yet. I, sh I should ask that to that tonight and find out. I am not sure it would be. Um, it isn't exactly one of their uh, heavy hitters. <laughs> it's not like one of their big main panel. You know, like it's not like I the. Um, you know what I'm trying to say? Because they've got like the Dream SMPs doing a panel, like those kind of things that are like so popular. Like I bet those things would get filmed. Um, and streamed, but I doubt that ours. <laughs> All right, show it on. It's not like Lil Simsy's panel is a, a premiere event or anything, you know? <laughs> we know our place, let's be honest. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> so, yeah, Galaxy, me and my friend Zoe wrote this challenge years ago. Years and years and years ago, we wrote this challenge. Um, so, I think. Uh, many and Broken7 and D and Silver and Libby, thank you for the subs too. Oh, why is the dog upset? <gasps> I should let the dog out. Don't pee in the house. Ask to go potty. You can do it. You can do it. Why the ghost? Oh. The house is like a little bit haunted. Um. So. <laughs> That's why the ghost. <laughs> Our house is like a little bit haunted at the moment. <laughs> Wait, no, ask the dog to go potty. Oh, it is going potty. There you go, it pooped right on the porch, that's great. Anyway, that's why there's so many ghosts, cause haunted. Yeah, it's terrible. I actually kind of love it though. Um, you know, Ali, I kind of agree. Um, I think that being like an absolutely enormous Twitch streamer, like this is gonna sound so weird, but like there's something about, um, I've done a few panels at, at conventions and stuff, and usually they're not very big, obviously, um, especially because I've been to a convention in a couple years. So, um, but like, it's it's a lot different to have like 50 people in the audience at a panel versus like a few thousand. You know, if you had like one of the main panels or like the main events that gets live streamed, like it, like the big ones are so um, that's scary. That's a way different vibe, public speaking wise. Way different vibe. So, I don't know. I actually did a panel kind of recently. I went, I say I haven't been to a convention in a while. Oh my God, great. I went to South by Southwest and I did a panel about charity streaming actually. Um, I went there literally only for one panel and then I came straight home. <laughs> um, so I, I, I didn't really get to do a lot at the, at the place, but the, the panel had like probably like 50 people in the audience, but it was mostly like industry people, like people that run charities and they wanted advice on how to like break out into the internet. It wasn't like a panel for my audience, you know, like it's a different sort of group that was watching that, but um, it was interesting. It was cool. I did that panel with the CEO of Tiltify, um, <laughs> wild. Uh, Rick Shadyak, who is the CEO of St. Jude, he's the CEO of LSAC, um, and also Matt Pat. So that was wild. Um, but, yeah, the fires don't even bother me anymore. I'm like not even phased by the fires. It's like, yeah, the house is on fire, whatever. It happens. <laughs> yeah, Ollie, we have a cat cam. Um, my cat has hung out in here quite a few times on, oh, we have no food in the fridge. Oh no. The cat has like, hung out in here quite a few times on stream. She's not gonna, I, I don't think she'll come in here right now because um, she was fast asleep on her chair downstairs before I came up here, um, but she might, I guess. I have um, a webcam that can, oh my God. Okay. I have a webcam that can go straight to that chair so we can film her. We've had a, quite a few cat cams this week, actually. Um, so that's fun. Shout out to my cat for, um, giving us what we deserve. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for the cat cams. Um, just got the Sims recently. Oh my God, someone said Desert, Download the Desert Lux kit in response to you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it again. If you all did not know, um, the Sims team is giving out the Desert Lux kit for free to everybody who already has The Sims 4. So if you have The Sims 4 already, you already have the base game, you can get the Desert Lux kit for free until October 17th. It is not a joke, there is no catch. The pack is basically on sale for 100% off. You can buy the kit for $0. Um, 
Um, so make sure you go and do that literally right now. If you're on your computer or if you've got access to your Xbox or whatever, go and do that literally right now before you forget because it is free and you like you get it permanently. It's just like only on sale until the 17th. But go get the kit. Go get the kit. Um, before you forget. <laughs> um, it's pretty cool. It's the Desert Lux kit has some like really nice outdoor furniture um, and like a really nice curtain set and stuff. It's got some really good things. Um, so you should definitely um, go and download those while you while you can before you forget. Um, oh, he didn't even get to eat. I made him make this salad and he didn't even get to finish eating. <laughs> Uh, okay, Luma and Finn and Little and Frau and Livy and Manny and Brooke, uh, Seven and, and Trust, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Oh, there's a litter box because I had a cat, but they literally just died, so. Set a reminder for the kit when you get home. Yeah, seriously, like, put a reminder on your phone to get the kit when you get home so that you don't forget. Um, I'd hate for you to miss out on it because you get the kit for free, like, um, so yeah, definitely, definitely, oh god, go to school, oops, forgot. Um, make sure you grab it before you forget or set a reminder or whatever so that you don't forget when you get home tonight Because um, it's a good one. Arguably. I think it's one of the better kits I I'm not sure if I feel that way because the kit is free <laughs> right now um, But but I I honestly believe that the the desert Lux kit is one of my favorite ones so far um, So and granted I could acknowledge that it, I might be a little bit biased because <laughs> Because of the fact that it's free, but, um, okay. Okay. Do you want to cook some more? <sighs> Make some fruit salad, because you can't burn that. So that'll be good. Megan Puddle and Steampunk, thanks for the subs. <laughs> yeah, the kit also has, ooh. I need to make you take a shower. Uh, the kit, the curtains, it's got like the two sides of the curtains, and then like a middle piece that you can use to look like the curtain rod. It's great. Um. Oh, Carly, I don't have any more giveaway codes of Dreamlight Valley. We did, um, I had, I've, like, five giveaway codes of Dreamlight Valley the other day, but I did all the giveaways already, so I've done ten total, but I don't have any more codes left, unfortunately. Um, which kind of stinks. I'm out of codes. Um, alright, you take a shower. The dog is crying, so I might need to let the dog out. Oh, is Hayden about to age up? Uh-oh, it seems like it. Ugh, my alien's an elder! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Manifesting Mickey Mouse to send you more codes? Yeah, that would be really nice. Mickey, do you want to give me a code? Mickey! Okay, maybe I'll play with you or something, I don't know. Well, now Hayden is home. And old. So that's no good. Do you want to get the mail? I have seen Deli's custom content kit. Yeah, the new kit that Deli and Little Dika made. I actually filmed a video on it today, but I'm not going to post it for a couple days because I'm pre-recording a little bit for TwitchCon. So, um, but I I did see their kit or the like or the CC pack that they made. It's really good. Um, it's a it's a really good little CC pack. You guys know Little Dika because he's one of our mods. Um, but he and Deligracy collab to make a super cool uh, CC pack again. It's a really good one. Yeah, one of them they released today, um, or it came out in early access today, but it's got some- I think I have it installed right now. It's got some really good stuff. It has like a really cute, um, sectional sofa, too. Yeah, it's got some really cute stuff. But they made a, they made a sectional sofa, um, that has some really good swatches on it. I really like this one, so. Um, yeah, it's got some cute stuff. I like that CC pack, so. Um. All right, me, who's Hayden? Oh, you mean the alien. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I rarely call the alien by her real name. My apologies. Um. Oh, you have to cook an excellent quality grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. Let me try and make- oh, it's so laggy. Miss Chili, Amanda, Yikes, and Emily, and May, thank you all for the subs. Alright, well, I can try, but I don't know if you'll be able to cook an excellent quality one, because you keep starting fires in the process. So, anyway. Anyway. Um. I just wait for them to finish cooking it, and hopefully don't cause any problems. Um. 
You can go to Little Dika's Patreon to get the access. I'm sure one of my mods can put a link in the chat to it. Um, or just to his Twitter or whatever. That'll help. Um, all right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Finish cooking. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Is it excellent quality? It is. Okay, let me put those in my inventory for a sec. If I then eat a grilled cheese sandwich in space, okay. <laughs> I would like to finish, um, I would like to finish the, the tasks for the aspiration. <laughs> Uh, we've done like pretty much everything for honey. Uh, let me pull up the not so very challenge rules so I can show you, but uh, we've pretty much finished everything from gen three. Um, the rules were master rocket science and handiness skill done, astronaut career and nerve brain aspiration done. Well, we haven't finished the career is the one thing actually. We're level eight, so we're not quite done with the career. Um, but aspiration done, build a rocket, visit six, I'm done. Um, we, I guess, have we gone to the secret lot? We maxed handedness, but I don't know if we've gone to the secret lot yet. So we could always go to the secret lot in Oasis Springs um, if we wanted to. They have the weekend off, so. Anyway, eat your grilled cheese in space. Sounds good to me. Don't play with CC, it scares you. Oh, don't worry. Jas, I think a lot of people are scared of mods because they're worried about like downloading things. Um, but there's a lot of really reputable mod makers and like custom content creators and stuff. Um, people like Little Dika, uh, I, I will personally vouch for, he will not give you a virus. <laughs> I promise. Um, I've known him for a long time. He's a mod here. Like he literally mods my Twitch channel. Like I, I know the guy, he, his stuff is safe. Pretty much everybody that makes him CC is safe. So, um, so if you're scared for that reason, don't worry too much about that. Um, Okay, I think. <laughs> Hurry up. You take so long to get back from space. It's actually kind of impressive how long it takes to get back from space. There we go. All right, I think I have to cook an excellent quality like single grilled cheese sandwich. Um, oh, Taya, so just so you know, um, I, the other thing, the question was like, with all the updates to the game, it's hard to keep mods up to date. Mods, so there's like a difference between like script mods and, and custom content, right? So for example, like if you wanted to download a CC hair or like a CC chair or whatever, those things don't, don't break with updates. I guess they might in some cruel circumstance break with an update, but that doesn't happen. Like your CC hair will be fine. That won't break with an update. It's the script mods that usually break with the update because when the Sims team changes like, text uh, in the game, like code in the game, it changes and it messes with the script mod, so they have to fix it. But things like like custom content fridges or kitchen cat, like that stuff is fine. The items are fine. It's, it's the mods like UI cheats that changes how the UI works. Like those kind of mods are the ones that break when there's updates, not the like package file um, hairs and clothes and stuff. Um, so, and that makes you feel better. Um, that's how it works. But you don't need to worry about like your hair is breaking. I finished it. I did the grilled cheese aspiration. Oh my God, I have 10,000 points. Maybe I'll buy this so I don't need to bathe. Forever fresh. You'll never smell again. <laughs> okay, I was gonna actually, oh God, he's, oh, cause he got a bad score on his exam. Oops. Oh, well, I wanted to, I wanted to work on my skills, but you're a bit smelly. I mean, so a bit sleepy. I said smelly because I saw Christine say stinky fish girl in my chat. Somebody yesterday, um, I didn't see it till after I got off stream, but my mod sent me a screenshot. Somebody yesterday in my chat, first ever message, they were from, I think it was a troll from the front page. They said, and I quote, smelly fish girl, take a bath. <laughs> Made me giggle. <laughs> I thought it was a good one. The front page the last couple of times have been really something else. Like we, when you're on the front page, like the home page of Twitch, obviously you are exposed to new people, new trolls. And that one is funny, it's not that bad, but like people were telling me to take my clothes off yesterday. It really is on a whole other level. Like you, we get, we get safe here in our little Sims bubble. It's not like that around these parts most of the time. Front page is a different story. 
<laughs> it's, it's dangerous out there. It's creepy. That person got their account banned though. In two minutes, literally like two minutes after my mods reported it and then like deleted. <laughs> so that part helps at least. Um, Twitch can do at least one thing right sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a dangerous place out there um, in the depths of Twitch. So <laughs> Leah, Kat, Rosie, Mickey, and Kat, Laura, and Chili, and Amanda, thank you all so much. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's like another planet. All right, I want to do some projects, I think. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Such an odd comment. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I'm used to it. I've, I've really seen it all, but it's just, it's just interesting how different, like you, you experience a lot of that when you stream to different categories too. Like, so for example, I'm streaming to the Sims 4 category right now, right? Cause I'm playing the Sims 4, but when you play games like Fall Guys or Minecraft that, um, maybe appeal to like a broader audience, if you know what I mean. Um, the kind of people that come into your chat that like see you in the category list, like they'll be like scrolling through Fall Guys on Twitch and like looking for Fall Guys streamers. The kind of people that come in are different. It's not that they're all bad, but like it's just a really different vibe than like the Sims community. And there's a lot more trolls, like a different kind of troll than we usually get here. Um, like I don't really get a lot of creepy men like browsing the Sims category, to be completely blatantly honest with you. That's what I'm talking about. We don't get a lot of creepy men, basically, when we play the Sims. <laughs> um, but when you, when you stream to like just chatting or like other categories like that, creepy men. So um, that's the unfortunate truth of it. But the creepy men don't come to the Sims category, luckily for us. <laughs> um, but anyway, we have them. We do have them. They happen, but it's not like as frequent as some other categories I've noticed. So, um, but don't jinx it. I know. <laughs> no, it does happen. It's just not like as as frequent of an occurrence, at least. Um, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. You maybe should get up and like shower before you actually go to bed because it's it's really early. Here, go to sleep now. You're in bed. You're fine. You'll sleep after. How long until you die? I'm sorry, that sounds terrible, but 15. Okay, that's fine. We got time. <laughs> the alien became an elder today, so he just got to be <laughs> just got to be on the lookout, you know? It's good to be prepared for for such tragedies. Why are you hating on Hayden? I don't mean like how long till you die, just die already. I, just, I, I literally mean like, oh, how long until you die? So I can be ready. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, hey CS, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good time today. Um, ready to celebrate? Okay, no, I don't mean it like that. I know it sounds bad, I'm just, Trying to prepare myself for when bad things could happen. Yeah, no, when the alien dies, I, I won't lie. I'm not gonna be that sad about it. Sorry, I'm just checking my phone. I had it plugged in over there. Um, exciting stuff. I got a text from my hotel, my TwitchCon hotel. Ooh, exciting, it's happening. Um, the dog isn't okay, oh, is it not? Do you need to potty, little guy? Do you wanna play? I know, I'm gonna see Shella so soon. I was I was thinking, Shella, um, we need to get like a group pick with those of us from the Among Us group that are gonna be at TwitchCon. And also we should get a group pick, but leave space to Photoshop in everybody else. We have to like take a picture and then like leave room to like stick Momo and Kayla in the middle, you know? <laughs> We need to have space for, for the rest of us that, that aren't there. <laughs> I think that would be fun. We could do a mod one too. I like that idea, yeah. Um, oh, hi, Momo. <laughs> no, there's a bunch of my uh, our Among Us group that can't, can't come to TwitchCon, unfortunately. I didn't name them all, obviously, but um, that would be fun. I would like it. <laughs> we can get a group pick. <laughs> 
Um, it's exciting. Okay, do you wanna go use the bathroom? And then... I think I'm gonna, oh, it's Saturday, okay. I think this morning, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the secret area. Um, so I can get that over with. And then after that, we'll probably work on um, more of our, um, I don't remember, skills. TwitchCon's not in Amsterdam, it's gonna be in San Diego. TwitchCon EU was in Amsterdam a couple months ago, but um, TwitchCon, like the original TwitchCon, the, also like North America, but they don't call it that, they just call it TwitchCon. <laughs> they don't put a distinguisher on it. Um, the bigger one, um, that one is uh, gonna be in San Diego. They've done it in San Diego three times now. Um, TwitchCon wasn't, it's gonna, so TwitchCon EU is gonna be in Paris next year, River. Um, which is why you've heard that, because they, they like did Amsterdam in June and then announced that it's gonna be in Paris next summer. Um, so that's probably what you're thinking of. But yeah, it's gonna be in Paris next year, so. Um, I think San Diego is a great spot for a convention like TwitchCon. I mean, obviously they do too, because they've done it three times, but the convention center there is pretty good for this, so. Um, okay, honey, ever the intrepid explorer sets out to spelunk the cave. There are two pathways. The narrower of the two is a bit stalactite, but honey stalag might fit if they squeeze. <laughs> Should we take the narrow path? <laughs> um, yeah, it's your first Twitch conchilla. I'm so excited. It's fun. Um, narrow path. Last time at TwitchCon, I assume they'll do it again, but they had, you know, like mystery pin packs? No, you do because we bought some in Disney. Okay, you do. They have, oh, it didn't work. Um, they, they had like mystery pin packs with uh, like emotes, like Twitch global emote pins. Oh, it was so fun. So we should get some and open them together. I would like that. That would be so fun. <laughs> um, but they, they had like emote pins at TwitchCon last time um, with the mystery pin packs and I just thought it was really fun, so. Um, I love that kind of thing. <laughs> um, all right, take the wide path. Mention a video that I draw. Oh no, Millie, I mentioned a video that I don't draw because I'm no good. <laughs> I don't really draw, no. Uh, also, okay. No need to try something dangerous. Honey creeps down the main branch and spies through the dim remaining light, a switchback headed gradually up and a rickety ladder headed down. Climb the ladder. Um, post the pit opening on Instagram stories. Yeah, we could. <laughs> Can't wait for it to be in London. Do you know, Dan and I have talked about that. I would love it at TwitchCon in London. I like London. I know my way around London. I feel comfortable in London. <laughs> I've been there a lot. <laughs> London to me is a great city to do a convention like this in. It is safe, it is easy. I can go straight back to Dan's parents' house after. Like, it, that is a lovely place to be. <laughs> Paris isn't too far away either, but it isn't the same. Um, I'm sorry, Robin. <laughs> I agree, I guess, but... Um, I didn't... I was. We were gonna go to TwitchCon Amsterdam in 2020, and then it got cancelled, obviously, because of COVID. Uh, but we had previously planned to go, and then um, they, like, did it in Amsterdam in June, but we didn't go. Um, I still want to go to Amsterdam. One of these days I'll make it out there. Um, Honey carefully plunges into a black abyss, groping... groping their way along a splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts to fill the expanse below. They can step off into a dim, mossy precipice or continue into the blue. Keep climbing. Did I mess up? I ruined it. I'm sorry. I'll try again. Wide path. Doing a bad job. I, we've been trying to do this for literally forever. <laughs> Pebs, Joe, Sparkle, Beloved, and Day, and, and basically, and Kinda, and Pi, and Horsey, and Leah, and Kat. Thank you all so much. Um, but anyway, I am excited about TwitchCon. Me and Dan are going to go to TwitchCon in Paris too, I think. Um, we were talking about that the other day, because we were talking about how we'll probably fly into London and then stay at his parents' house and then get a train into Paris, which will be nice and easy. Okay, well, I made it here, so that um, completes the generation. <laughs> um, 
Yay, maybe we could do a, a little fish. Do a little fish, maybe? Um. <laughs> um. That makes sense, Ice. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Um. Can we do cat cam, please? I would, Butterfly. I absolutely would. But I, I can't do a cat cam unless the cat chooses to put herself on the cam. So if the cat's not in here, I can't do a cat cam, unfortunately. Because I'm not going to, like, lock her in my room, you know? Um, I'll just, we just wait until she comes in. Um, and then when she's in, we, we let her. But she isn't in here right now. She was, she was fast asleep and very cute downstairs. So I don't know if she'll come up here right now, but maybe she will. Um, you remember that ALC? That's wild. Yeah, I did a meetup in Boston um, years ago in like 2018 at like a mall in Boston um, and a bunch of people came to it. I probably wouldn't do that now, like just do a meetup at a random mall. Um, that doesn't seem safe anymore. <laughs> um, but I did do that a couple of years ago in Boston. You, me you remember that? That's wild. Um, that was when me and Maggie went to the Rick Astley concert. So I was in Boston for the concert and we did a meetup there while I was there. Um, what mall? I have no idea. I don't remember. Honest, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> I have literally no idea what mall. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that was like 2018. I don't know. Um, so, how's the unpacking going? Oh, in the new house? I'm unpacked. I'm good. Everything's, everything's where it belongs now. Um, I didn't have that much stuff. <laughs> we it's been a while, so I've I've got everything unpacked and stuff now. Luckily, um, why is Hayden calling? Oh, calm down. Being all dramatic about me not visiting her. Yeah, we put the patio furniture back outside. Oh, it was so sad. We I mean, obviously there were sadder parts of the hurricane, but we literally had just moved in and then the hurricane came, so I had to bring all my patio furniture inside. It was causing me a lot of stress. I had like the patio table and chairs like stacked up. Um, like, it was, like, hard to maneuver around my house because I had all this patio furniture in the living room. But you have to bring it inside so it doesn't, you know, blow away. Um, you'd think it wouldn't, but trust me, it would. It knocked down two trees in my yard, <laughs> so it would blow away the patio table. And, like, the umbrella, it's like a projectile. Like, it's not safe. You can't have it outside like that, you know, so, um, we had to bring it all in, so... But it's all back outside again, luckily. Um, so, how's the storm hitting? Yeah, the storm's gone, Millie. The storm was last week. It, we had it the worst on Thursday, like in the middle of the night. So like Wednesday, Thursday was when it was bad here. Um, so, luckily, luckily, um, we, we made it out. There's been a lot of flooding in Orlando. It's, it is truly the worst I've ever seen it in Orlando after a hurricane. I've lived here since 2004. And this is the worst I've ever seen it in Orlando after a hurricane. Um, it's obviously so much worse by the coast, um, in like Fort Myers and Naples and stuff, but it, even here in Orlando, we had it really bad. It's kind of scary. The weather now is fine. I mean, if you walked outside, you wouldn't know that such a horrible- I mean, like, it, even by that, the next day, it was bright and sunny again. Um, it, it rained a lot in the days leading up to it, um, but then, you know. Once it's passed, it's passed, so. Um, but, but yeah, it's not here anymore in Florida, so. Oh, there's a rampaging werewolf on the treadmill. That's cute. Have fun, Jacob. <laughs> All right, we finished that level of our um, aspiration. Go jogging for two hours, spend 10 hours exercising. We have to work on our singing skill, too. Um. All right, let me come back home. <laughs> Did it say Jacob Black? I thought it just said Jacob. Wasn't that like Jacob from the werewolf pack? Um. Yeah, that wasn't Jacob Black. It was just, it's just Jacob. <laughs> it probably is a Twilight reference for sure, but it's just Jacob. Um, okay, do you wanna come sing into this? Practice singing. Ray, Jaylee, Tater, Grell, and Crispy and Peps, thank you all for the subs. Yeah, Jeannie, um, it's been really hard for me to, to like, watch the news and read things on the news and, like, see 
everything about what's happened in like Fort Myers and Naples and stuff in those areas. It's just devastating to see what's happened to these people's homes and, and their livelihoods. And it's just, I, it is so beyond scary how it literally can just come in an instant and be gone. Um, I don't know if I told you, but my grandma's condo, my grandma lives in Naples. Um, thank God she wasn't there. Like she wasn't there for the storm, um, but her condo completely flooded. Um, like the the whole building was like <laughs> five feet of water. Um, it was it was really really terrible. Um, and I don't even I don't even want to think about that place. It makes me really sad to even consider. But all of, everything everything is gone. Everything is ruined. Everything. Um, I saw some pictures they sent yesterday because they you have to like rip out the carpet and drywall really fast um, once the water is gone because if you let it just sit there it molds and then it it is a very compounding problem. So they like rip the carpet out and stuff. But I, I guess sort of foolishly didn't really think about this. I, I mean, it makes sense, but I hadn't really, but like the, the place has to be gutted. Like the water heater ruined. All of her appliances ruined. Every piece of furniture she owns ruined. Like the, the place is, is ruined. Everything, everything is ruined. Like literally everything you own, your, your entire home, all the electrical is like everything is ruined. It's really, really scary. And it just it happened so fast in an instant. Like, I, I it's unimaginable. Um, but I, yeah, so water can do so much damage. Um, so definitely, definitely um, keeping all of you in my thoughts that have had to deal with flooding, but um, it's so scary, so. <sighs> um, Kylie, I hope that you and you and your family are okay. Um, I'm sorry to hear that you're in Naples. Just seeing everything out of Naples is so upsetting to me. <laughs> um, I, it's just horrible, so. My grandma wasn't there, so my grandma is safe. I mean, that's the, the key of it all, right? Like, grandma is safe, but I don't know. You can say it's just stuff, but it's like, it's your whole home. <laughs> You know, like it, it's everything, right? Like, ah, uh, it's horrible. But anyway, at least at least she is safe. So, um, oh, they're all gathering to listen to him sing. Are they fighting? They're fighting while he sings. We're sitting here talking about something horrible, but um, ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Lisa and Jimmy and Rach and Haley, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, I forgot about prom. I forgot about prom. I didn't know prom was today. I didn't do anything to prepare for prom. <laughs> oh no, all right, well, we're going to prom. We're going to prom. Um, here we go. <laughs> I totally didn't know that was happening today. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> Can you put on something cuter than that? I'm sorry, but it's prom. Oh, here we go. He's got a nice outfit. Dance, vote for prom royalty, talk to someone. All right, anybody cute might want to date? The gray gen has to marry a neat sim. I know we had kind of talked about, we met, um, who was it? Was it Helen? No, that's an adult, so it wasn't Helen. There was some sort of Sim that we met and we were like, oh my God, we have to marry them. Was it Nadia? Maybe it was Nadia. Raven, it was Raven. Oh my God, it was Raven. We were like, we have to marry Raven, but we can't marry Raven yet because we have to date four Sims. Um, so we need to find someone else to date for now. Oh, Brendan is cute. Look at him. Introduce yourself. Do you want to dance? Come on. No, dance with me. Show off outfit. Maybe I'll come vote for prom royalty. I'm gonna vote my sister for prom royalty. <laughs> and maybe I'll have her vote for, for me as the prom jester. <laughs> There we go, that's what we need to do. 
No, vote, 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 vote. If we vote for ourselves, we have a higher chance of winning. Okay, show off outfit, grab a drink. Why won't you introduce yourself to this sim? Prom sucks. I'm eating something. I'm gonna... Oh wow, it's working. Look, I'm doing so well. I'm doing great, everyone. Look, do you see? Look how great I'm doing. Yeah, I feel like the prom does go too fast. I like almost need it to start at five or something for me to more easily be able to get everything done. <gasps> prom royalty, storm pots, prom jester grave pots? We both won! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we won both the prizes! This is the best day of my life. I'm actually feeling great about this. Success. Success. That makes me feel really powerful. I, I think we were the only ones who voted. So. Um. <laughs> anyway, um. Very exciting. Um, okay, okay, okay. Maybe we could do... Uh, grab a drink, eat something. Do you want to come grab a drink? Don't empty it. Grab a drink. Come on. Thank you. This is why voting is important. Yes. Everyone, this is why voting is important. <laughs> So that your sim can win prom jester. Did that count? <gasps> I did it! Look! I got a gold medal! Wait, I should have taken a picture. Is it too late? Take a photo with... Mischievous photo with your sister. Come on. Let me in, let me in, please, before it kicks me out. Please, please, please. It kicked me out. Oh, dear. Okay, prom's gone. <laughs> okay, prom's gone. We can get a photo booth picture. Um, we can get a photo booth picture at the after party. It's okay. This is fine. This is fine. Anyway, we joke, but actually voting is very important. Your vote counts. Register to vote. It's very, very, very important. Um, no matter where you are. Very, very, very important. Um, Let's take a confident photo. I left my sister at home. Should we get a photo together? I think that'd be cute. Midterms in one month. It's very important. Okay, goodbye Hope, back to work. <laughs> um, midterms are indeed coming up, so. Um, super, super, super important. Um, yeah, Lisa, I've streamed a bunch today. <laughs> um, I was live earlier and now we're live again right now, so. Um, so Emma, once Dan becomes a citizen, he'll be allowed to, that's a great question. Um, so Dan can't vote right now, he's not a citizen. Um, he's what's called a legal permanent resident. He's a green card holder, so he can't vote. Um, but in a few years, once Dan will become a citizen, when he's a citizen, he'll be allowed to vote. Citizens can vote, so. Um, but he cannot vote on a green card, so. Um, but in a few years, in a few years, once he becomes a citizen. Okay. It's your first election to vote and that's exciting. That's really exciting. Um, I was super excited about mine a couple years ago. Um, oh my God. It was more than a couple years ago. I'm 23. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> <laughs> you can vote when you're 18 here. <laughs> no, he has a green card, Millie, but you can't vote when you ha or a green card holder. You have to be a citizen. It's not the same thing. Yeah, you old fart. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why are you fully rested at 1 a.m.? I'm honestly gonna send you to sleep. I'm gonna like cheat your needs away and make you sleep. 
I want them to sleep through the night, so. Um, all right, everyone's asleep. I'm gonna save the game again, just in case. Ooh. True, Lisa, Jimmy, thank you for the subs. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Smooth Tortoise, that's so exciting. Congratulations. That is super, super awesome. Um, <laughs> all right, everyone sleep. And then with the gray gen, we could probably, maybe I'll try and go on a date. We could see about trying to invite that boy from prom out on a date. Um, I like that idea. That might be kind of fun. I didn't, well, you didn't sleep through the night. I'm gonna cheat it. Sorry. Sorry. Get leftovers. Are you gonna grill something? Oh God. Don't start a fire, 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 don't start a fire. He didn't. There you go, buddy. You wanna eat it? Go, no, you just made that, eat it. Enjoy your new meal. That was impressive, okay. <laughs> All right. You finish this up. And then, I guess we could go straight out to see Brendan. Maybe I'll see if Brendan wants to go to the park. Yes. Sounds like fun to me. Oh, oh, there he is. I was like, I can't, Never mind. I can bring him. <laughs> I can bring him, so. Um. Oh, Soap, I haven't read the replies to my tweet, and I don't wish to. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, though. <laughs> yeah, today is my parents' 30th wedding anniversary. Um, love you mods, but I can't sacrifice my points for you. I respect that. Oh my god, he's actually so cute. Oh man, we have to have three failed relationships. That's a shame. He's probably not, he's probably not a neat sim, though. We have to marry a neat sim. He's really handsome, though. Uh, ask about day? Share photos? Show off selfie? Maybe my sister can marry him. <laughs> you know what, actually, maybe, maybe we'll date him first, break up with him, and then our sister can marry him. Then, then it still works. If he's neat, though, we have, the rule is that we have to marry a neat sim, so if he's not a neat sim, then we can't marry him, but if he is a neat sim, well then, let me get to know you. Mean, okay. <laughs> Should I go look at him in cast? <laughs> he's mean, that's not neat. Oh no. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Okay, that's... Are you brothers? Oh my god, they're like identical twins. No, look, their facial features are the same. They're twin and they have the same haircut. He's got a twin. <laughs> um, that's, that's funny. His brother is lactose intolerant and a maker. And he's mean and an insider. Okay, our traits aren't that good. They've got one for each sibling. <laughs> He's got a not mean twin. Although, although insider and lactose intolerant are arguably two of the most boring traits in the whole in the whole game. So that's great. <laughs> we also no, we had we found a sim named Raven. Who? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Um, who we were almost gonna date before, but we wanted to wait until later because we thought we were gonna marry her. Um, but we really, we really liked her. So we can always change our minds. We have to date at least four Sims, so. Yeah, me too for the hope of it all. I don't really love that like the dietary stuff is, a, is traits in this game. Um, Cause I mean, it is sort of a funny meme to have like lactose intolerant be one of your only three personality traits. <laughs> like I know that we everybody like everybody's lactose intolerant, everybody kind of jokes about it, but like um 
there it does kind of suck to have that be one of your like only personality traits. He left. I've been abandoned. Um, but that part kind of sucks. Make a club with only neat sims and choose the cutest one. <laughs> we could do that. We could do that. Um, I didn't bring him by accident. I meant to bring him and I forgot to. Oops. Um, but anyway, I almost feel like, um, I don't know if it would match the like likes and dislikes UI, but I almost feel like, like as opposed to a trait, it should be more similar to the likes and dislikes UI. Like where you like, I guess instead of like picking if you like or dislike it, you can, there's like a whole list of like dietary options, like vegetarian, lactose intolerant, and you can pick like yes or no to them or whatever. You know, like that makes more sense to me than having it be a trait, but I doubt they'll ever do that. It's not like a priority change. I just think that would be cool. Um, the other option is to give us five traits instead of three, <laughs> like the Sims 3 had, and then I wouldn't care. <laughs> um, Yes, I miss favorite foods, too. In The Sims 3, we had favorite foods. It was so fun. I wish that we could have that. Um, I wish we could have that back really bad. At least, like, food likes and dislikes or something. Um, that would be awesome. But anyway, the, the real easier answer is to give us five traits. <laughs> and also food. Just favorite foods, but... Um, I really liked that gameplay in The Sims 3, so... Um... All right, let me keep talking to him. Don't walk away from me. Well, you are, I'm walking away from him, I guess. Um, why is he blue? Oh, cause his mom's an alien. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Don't leave. He thinks I'm boring. I'm not boring. No, you can't dislike mischief. Ask about woohoo. Give props. Show off outfit. Anyway, his mom's an alien, so he's blue. And also it's the gray gen, so he's gray. <laughs> That's kind of the idea, at least. Joke about acne, maybe? Sure it's an alien, not a vampire? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I know he looks like the vampires, though. Um, complain about the heat. I relate to that a lot. No, 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 come back. Whisper about crush. Whisper about crush. Brendan, we have to date. It's really important. Do you wanna... Oh, I'm too sad to flirt. I'm gonna get rid of it. Maybe, um, ask if single? Oh my god, so this isn't meant to be a spoiler, but I'll just, I'll say it, it might be a little bit of one. But basically, in my legacy challenge on YouTube, in the video that I posted, did I post it yesterday, or did I not post it yet? I think I might have not posted it yet. No, I haven't posted it yet. Um, anyway, <laughs> in the video, my legacy challenge video, um, I was trying, so my sim had like this guy that they were kind of dating and I had them like talk about marriage to him. Did not go well. It did not go well. Red flag, I guess, but like it literally made me drop like all the way down. We had like a romance bar that was full. It was way back to the beginning. Like it was really bad. <laughs> and they were dating, like officially dating. Um, like I, but it was, it was pretty bad. So I'm not really sure what to do about that situation. I am putting it off, but um, it, it didn't go well. No, neither of them are non-committal. Neither of them are non-committal. Um, but I guess, I mean, I assume, like, I have never had that, that interaction go poorly before. Like, it's always worked out well for me. So, I was sort of surprised. <laughs> um, but I guess he doesn't want to get married. So. Um. No, not on a tiny lot. Like, at the beach, this happened. It wasn't like a tiny lot bonus thing. It was just a regular lot. It was bad. It was really bad. So anyway, risky interaction. Be careful with that one. Okay, I don't think I'll keep trying to date you right now. I'll probably date you later. Um, like, we'll make it official later. I'm gonna go to the gym, though, because I need to work on my skill. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go home and do my, um, never mind. I'm gonna go home and do the school project. 
Ghost and Simmer and Little Dakota and Cece and Shell and Annie and Slam and Emma and Nancy. Thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, some people just don't want to get married. That's totally fine. Um, but not fine for my Sim who does want to get married. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, let's come over here. Start working carefully. Maybe your sister can work on hers too. It'll be cute. It'll be cute. Brendan thinks Grave is swell and wants to be best friends? Yeah, okay. That's cute, he followed me home. Brendan wants to take things to the next level, will Grave be his boyfriend? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna ask you to date me tomorrow, but yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now he's serenading me? I like Brendan. This is sad that I have to dump him. Oh well. We have to date four sims. That was the rules. <laughs> yeah, he did follow us home and then serenade us. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's a little bit much, all that he's asking me for right now, but that's okay. That's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Come on. Are you getting hungry? Okay, that's fine. You have to finish this project first. What skill are you building from it? Oh, he's building the painting skill. That's useful. You know? Yeah, God, could you imagine if he grew up with the knee trait after we have to dump him? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. We could always get back with him or something, I guess. Um, I, I would like for my Sim to date like a few people as a teen anyway. I, I tend to have my sim just like date one person and then that'd be the only person I ever date, but it's kind of fun to date a few people when they're young. I never dated anybody, <laughs> but in high school I didn't date anyone, but I want my sim too. That's my plan. So. Your sim's boyfriend showed up at their job and proposed and he was in your household. Really? That's actually hilarious. Also, hi, little Dika, how are you? How's your day, Ben? I got some grilled fruit. I'll grab a serving. Why not? I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put this away. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, okay, I think Oh God, I totally didn't see this either. I saw one person did an elevated message like 20 minutes ago. I can't see them. It doesn't put them anywhere in my activity feed. Like the elevated messages are really hard for me to keep up with because I don't see them, they just scroll away. So I really, I would actually recommend not using them because <laughs> um, I, I totally can't see them. But I'm sorry, thank you uh, Elodie for that elevated message. That's a new feature on Twitch that I'm not really standing, I won't lie. Um, they're too expensive and they don't work as intended, so don't waste your money on them. Um, all right, do you wanna come grab a serving? Yes, good. Good. You didn't see it either? Yeah, that's the thing. It just goes away. It doesn't, you would think that if they're gonna call it an elevated message, it would at least like make it so I can see it longer, but no. Cause it puts it, what it does to elevate it is it puts it in chat and then it like puts it underneath the video player. Um, so it's like underneath my stream, though where the title is, it has like the elevated message, but I can't see that. It doesn't show up for me like that on my, where I'm looking on my dashboard. So it defeats the purpose cause I don't even see it. It's so weird and they're so expensive, but like I, I don't, not watching my own stream back. So I don't see it elevated there anyway, it's just, the elevated meshes are weird. I don't, I don't like them. And they're too expensive. They're too expensive. Um, but anyway, it makes very little sense to me. I feel like they didn't think it through. <laughs> like, um, if I could turn them off, I would, but I, I'm like forced into the four week experiment. Um, against my will. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't turn them off. Otherwise I would. Um, but anyway, 
Yeah, literally. It's so bizarre because the the whole point is that it like like highlights the message underneath the stream for a period of time. So I guess maybe it's more designated for like big streamers and not for like the streamer to read, more for the chat to see. But like it's five dollars for thirty seconds, and then it's a hundred dollars for two and a half minutes. Now, how does that make sense? Cause I could just buy the 30 second one multiple times. And ooh, now it's two and a half minutes. Like what why would I why would you buy the hundred dollar one? It makes actually no sense. The pricing is absolute nonsense. Like complete and total nonsense. So why like why and i can't change it i can't change the pricing that's just how it is the streamer gets a 70 30 cut of that so if you did the hundred dollar one i would get 70 dollars and twitch would get 30. like it just it to me it makes absolutely no sense it's like they're trying to copy youtube super chat thing but like they did a bad job with it so it doesn't make any sense and it's like poorly it's just it's not good so i i don't recommend you use it um also, Ali, I'm not really sure, to be perfectly honest with you. So, anyway, I, I'm not a fan of these elevated chat message thingies. Um, the pricing is bad. They're weird. Um, but, no, a hundred real dollars, not bits. No, 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 real dollars. It's in dollars and not in bits. Um, and you can mod it like a regular message, just like normal, but... I don't know, it's really, like, the whole thing I just don't really agree with. Um, when I saw them announce it on Twitter, I was like, oh my god, I never want that on my channel. I really hope I don't have it on my channel. I log into Twitch, elevated messages are here! But my my reaction was, oh my god, please no. Like, I sent it into mods and I was like, please, I don't ever want this! <laughs> um, if you mod it so they get their money back. You know, okay, so Finn, um, I realized that you might think, oh, if their message got deleted, they should get a refund. No, <laughs> because if a person is gonna type something nasty enough to get it deleted, they don't deserve a refund. The things that would get modded for that, um, so to give an example, sometimes people give bits and they'll try and put like my address in the chat. Um, Sorry that you spent a dollar to dox me. You're not getting the money back like you tried to dox me like so um if that kind of thing were to happen with the elevated messages i there wouldn't be a refund if it got deleted because like you got banned that's your fault you know like you didn't get banned for no reason um so i'm sure that twitch could like if you you could probably i don't like the thing it's not up to me if you get a refund it's up to twitch but twitch is usually like not very refundy like, I, I don't get to decide. It isn't my choice. Um, I can't be like, you can have one, but you can't. And I have no control over that. It's all Twitch's end. But, I, like, Twitch wouldn't refund it, I don't think. So. Um. But. Anyway. Thank you, Anonymous, for the five gifted subs, by the way. And Quentin, and Sophia, and Panther, and Applejuice, and Darth, and Kate, and LJ, uh, Jorby, and Sydney, and Loon, and Short. Thank you all so much. Um. But, anyway. People do weird things. In the same sense of, like, just because if you're a sub, right? Like maybe you have subbed for three months and then you choose to come into my chat today and then type something really nasty. Like, you don't get, why would Twitch refund you? Like you, you did that. Like, you, <laughs> you know, like you, that was your fault. You didn't get banned for no reason, you know? Like you came in and you put something horrible in the chat and got yourself banned, like, um. But anyway, I, it's it's one of those things where you think like, oh, I should refund it. But then also like, oh, thinking about the kind of people, maybe not. <laughs> That's a toy. I thought it was a cup. I was trying to put it in the trash. Oops. Um, but anyway, Twitch isn't very um, refundy, like I said before. Um, sometimes like, so this one time, for example, um, a friend of mine had this kid giving them like a ton of bits, so many bits which is like donations, but it's on Twitch. So they were like paying Twitch for bits and then giving the bits to the streamer and the streamer gets paid. This kid was giving them a lot of bits. Like we're talking like hundreds of dollars was being spent. Um, and it was like very obvious it was a kid. Well, my friend can't do anything about it to like stop them from spending the money except ban them or you know, whatever. Um, what ended up actually happening is that kid's parent 
obviously found out and then reported it to Twitch and Twitch is like, mm. and so tw what Twitch usually has done, um, I've heard stories of them issuing refunds to the credit card, like to the parent, but they perma ban and like IP ban the account. So if you're gonna like try and charge back a significant amount of money on Twitch like that, they'll like ban the account so you can't have one anymore um, if they're gonna lose the money like that, which is interesting. Um, it's also weird because my friend, when that happened, Twitch refunded the parent so we can tell because the account is deleted. So we don't actually know what happened because we don't get information on that. It's all on Twitch, not on us. But my friend got to keep the bits. Um, they kept the money. Like when Twitch paid them, they the bits were included. But then I had another friend who had someone gift them a ton of subs and then charge it back and they lost the subs. Like they took the sub money away. So I don't know how Twitch decides like Maybe like over time the policy changed. I don't know what about it like makes them decide if the streamer gets to keep the money or not, but like um, the one friend got to keep it and the other one didn't, so. It's also weird because the one, the kid one was really unfortunate. Like that was like a kid did something bad. They were like 12, you know, but sometimes people do stuff like that maliciously, not kids. Um, you might hear about chargebacks with like PayPal donations, but um, some people will like, go into a streamer's chat and then give them like $500 and then get this big, huge reaction, this really grateful streamer. And then they'll go back in PayPal like a week later and charge it back to get the money back. Um, well, the streamer might have like already spent the money on a new microphone or whatever, but they'll like charge it back. So they just, they give money to get a reaction and then charge it back. That's not allowed, but um, you can't really do anything to stop it. <laughs> um, but they'll basically like go on to PayPal and be like, that was fraudulent, I didn't do that. And then get the money back, um, even though they did do it. Um, so that kind of thing is is unpleasant. I had someone do that with a $1,000 donation to my charity stream once. I've never had anyone do that um, to me because I don't have PayPal donations on, um, but I had someone do that with a $1,000 charity donation once, which is like bad. That was this year, yeah. Um, wasn't it, was it $2,000? Oh my God. But yeah, they like donate a huge amount to get like a big reaction and then charge it back. And that's to charity. Shameful, shameful. Um, it's really bad. So, um, but anyway. No, it wasn't to meet a goal. It was like the middle of my St. Jude month. We weren't like near a goal or anything. They, they just do it for attention. There's no reason, there's no way to know like the real motivations behind it, but that kind of thing happens so commonly on Twitch with like big donations and charging back and stuff. And the other problem is that with pay, like that was through Tiltify, so I have no control over that. But like with PayPal, if you were to pay me and then charge it back, sometimes the streamer has to like pay a fee and stuff. Um, so it sucks because they lose the money that they thought they had been given, but also they have to pay a fee for the chargeback, um, which is unfortunate. Um, but. Anyway, anyway, my Sims are in a bad mood, it seems. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't, I've luckily not experienced that too, too much. So, all right, I might actually come with um, the kids to school today. Um, no, it happens to loads of people, Missy. It's really common uh, on the internet, unfortunately. Um, so, anyway. Electrona, I don't, it's not, it's not so much that the person like donates and then realizes that they don't have money. Um, that's usually a different, that, that's a different kind of situation. And it sucks when that kind of thing happens, which I don't think it does that often. But that we're, I, you don't need to give the benefit of the doubt to these people. Like this kind of person, it's a, it's a very common tactic to troll online. Like, um, they, they don't have good intentions <laughs> most of the time. Um, we want to believe that they do, but most of the time they don't have good intentions behind the scenes, you know? Um. It's a small group that does it maliciously, unfortunately. It's not like a, you know, I donated 10 bucks and then it turns out I actually needed that money for food. It's like I maliciously donated a huge amount with the intention always of charging it back, you know? Um, no one like accidentally donates $2,000 or whatever, you know? Um, it's, it's a very common thing they do on the internet, so. Um, Pickle, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. Um, and Bane and Megan and Steph and Mel and Rube and Finna, thank you all so much. Um, but anyway, unfortunately it is a thing that happens a lot. Um, but 
someone trolled on Jacksepticeye stream. They found a loophole to like fake donate 500k at a time. Did they? I don't think I heard about that. That is really scary. Oh, this is a Bell family member. That says, uh, alternate universe descended of my YouTube legacy challenge. <laughs> um, no, I didn't hear, but that's wild. That's wild. Um, well, yeah, French, I mean, he probably did know it was fraudulent when it was happening, but the thing is, like, the, the chat doesn't. Um, obviously I have, I wasn't there, so I don't know what happened, but like, when that kind of thing comes in, even if you as a streamer might suspect that it might get charged back or whatever, like, the, the community doesn't think that, obviously, um, because they don't always think the worst of people, um, so, like, it, you then you have to deal with that part, um, so... I don't know. Um, yeah, Leo, that's, I wonder about that too, because they are usually repeat offenders. So you would think that PayPal or their card would like catch on, but I guess they probably make like more than one account and stuff. Because, I mean, the thing is, like if you or I were to try and do this, our plans would probably get foiled by the bank or by PayPal or whatever. But like the kind of people that do it are malicious and good at it. So they know the loopholes to get around the, f the plan foiling, you know, <laughs> like, like you or I might get caught and, and stopped, but like the, the kind of person that would actually want to do it a lot, they know how to do it, you know, <laughs> Isabella, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way, I really appreciate that. Um, cause PayPal, yeah, PayPal will close your account over that, right? So they must have some loophole. I don't know what they do, but, um. Anyway, anyway, it's almost like grade school all over again. At some point during class, some of the rougher classmates silently put a kick me sign on the back of a fellow student. <gasps> Someone should stand up for those bullies, but should it be today? Yeah, T tell the teacher about it. Grave gets the teacher to deal with the kick me sign and things seem to end well, but later in class, a note gets passed to Grave warning him to watch out for the bully's repercussions. What? Was Brendan the bully? We got a negative sentiment. I think Brendan's the bully. Oh my God. No, we gotta dump him. He sent me a note, like a threat. He sent me a threat. I guess he has the mean trait, right? Oh my God. <laughs> He's the bully? Yeah, I'm gonna dump him at lunch, I think. That's no good. That is no good. <laughs> wow. Dump him and date his brother? <laughs> we could dump him and date his twin brother. Wait, that's fun. We'll dump him and date his twin brother. I like that idea. Okay. It's lunchtime. Wait, why are we all still in class? Oh, it's weird. All right, one out of four people we got a date. That's down, one down, <laughs> three to go. <laughs> Who's his twin? I don't think we know his twin yet. Oh, here he is. Yeah, I'm gonna go dump him for being a bully. You bullied someone. You put a kick me sign on someone's back and then sent me a threat after I told on you. Oh, we can't have this. Why don't you cheat on him instead? Melissa. Okay, say it with me, everyone. Cheating is not the answer, okay? One more time. Cheating is not the answer. <laughs> oh, now they're really gonna hate each other. Great. That actually is a very unfortunate breakup. Wait, Brendan is deeply connected to me and bitter. And I'm deeply wounded. And that makes sense though, because they were best friends and it was his first boyfriend. And then he turned out to be very mean and a bully and also was sending us threats. So I, I too would be deeply wounded. I won't lie. I don't blame him for feeling that way. <laughs> um, do you want to play football practice with Storm maybe? I don't even know if we'll have time. Yeah, throw the football right around in the school hallway. 
Anyway, the real answer is not to cheat, but to break up with him and then date his twin. So. <laughs> yeah, I built this high school, Dr. Bobby. Oh, what the heck? If my sister hit me in the face with a football, don't even get me started. <laughs> if my sister threw a football right at my head, we have problems. Let me just say that. <laughs> All right, we've got class in an hour, which isn't yet. He's gonna go pee. Um, Chat, I have to say, all of you begging for murder says a lot about us as a group. You know, Maggie, we are seeming a bit suspicious. It's like a little bit weird. All of this, all of these murder wishes are not ideal. <laughs> oh God. Simsy has taught us well. Yeah, clearly. All right, time for class again. Jazzy, Sky, Pluvio, Clat, and Megan, everybody, thank you for the subs. Um, this save file is kind of murder oriented. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Um, that checks out. Yeah. All right. Do we have football practice today? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Dissection day? No! I re no, I reject this. I don't want to. I'm actually against this. It's not the easiest lesson to learn for some sims, but there are important anatomical lessons to be learned by dissecting a frog. There are also plenty of jokes that could be made at the frog's expense, of course. With a little tap and some flailing arms, Grave could make the frog dance. No! You're not gonna mess with a frog's dead body! <sighs> no, no. We had to dissect pregnant sharks when I was in high school. No, no, hated that. The kids in my class were nightmares. They were like chopping their heads off and stuff. I have never hated anything more in my entire life. I'm not even trying to exaggerate. It was actually horrible. Actually horrible. Um, anyway, I'm against that. So, what in the Florida? Yeah. I just don't see how freshman biology students can gain anything meaningful from that. All that did was cause me a lot of distress and then give those kids a chance to like harm the dead body of a shark. And we, sh we dissected a few things in that biology class, but I just don't see how there was any actual like benefit in, in doing that for these 14 year olds. Like I don't think they actually learned anything. And I just don't think it was worth it. Um, seems like a horrible waste of life for, for that. I don't know. Like, obviously, um, in more, like, serious classes, like, we all can agree that that's important, right? But for a 14-year-old high school freshman, like, um, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it. So, <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> Epic and Fufu, thank you for the subs. Um, all right. <laughs> all right, you do that. Maybe you could do your homework afterward because I've been failing to do that, so. Humor and hijinks festivals in town. I don't think I'll go to that, but. Oh wait, I should let the dog go pee outside. I have to go potty and then fill. Yes. Yes. Um, go potty. Why won't they go outside? What is this? Oh, I forgot Honey was at work today. Oh God, we need to make sure we work hard. We have to try and get promoted as fast as possible. I forgot to think about that. Um, we need to get level 10, so. Yikes. Grave is like always mortified. He has a lot of emotions. Oh, now he's sad about his breakup. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Here, go sing in the shower. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> Why is my ex-boyfriend inviting me to the motive trials? I'm not going. He's like, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. I'm not going. No way. That is suspicious. 
that's where they literally take your sim away and then wait until their needs get so far down that they like have to come home. Terrible. That he's attempting revenge. <laughs> Darth and Des, thank you for the subs, by the way. I don't know what pack that comes in. I'm actually not sure about that. Um, I'm not 100% on that one. Alright, I'm gonna come out here. I'm just gonna try and um, work out on this for a little. Because I'll get my fun up, and then also he'll build some skills. We need level 6 fitness. Why did you stop? What are you doing? Do you want to play football practice? Wait, are you about to? No, will you play football with me, honey, please? Please? Oh my, this is so cute. I love it. I love it. I'll watch. <laughs> In front of the graves, perfect. Yeah, we're just trying to include our, um, our dead family members in the party, you know? Let me take my phone off. Oops. Sorry. I just unplugged my phone. It was charging. And then the charger fell onto the ground. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's family game night! Everyone's playing football with us together, you know? It's kind of fun. Do it again. Yeah, Hayden can like handiness. That's fine. This reminds me, the other day, my sister was- so I was at my parents' house a couple days ago, and my sister was trying to convince Brett to, um, go to Walmart with her, because she didn't want to drive there alone. She was, like, trying to get Brett to come, but my brother had a friend over, and so he didn't want to. <laughs> and then my brother was like, alright, if you can catch this football that I throw to you, I'll come. <laughs> and so it, it resulted in, in, like, the three of us throwing around this football in the driveway for a while. Trying to decide if Brett was willing to come with him with Shanna to the grocery store. <laughs> I don't know. Weird stuff. Um, she didn't catch the football. Um, cause Brett obviously threw it on purpose so that she wouldn't. Um, but he did end up going with her, so. <laughs> uh, there you go. Lovely. Alright, you go back to bed, little friend. Um, just sibling things, yeah. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Anyway. Save the game. And Soph and Beck and Sarah, thank you for the resubs. Hurry up. Sleep through the night. <laughs> no, my brother is not playing golf. <laughs> My brother, literally, he played golf, like, like, twice the week that he graduated high school. He's not been back since. Him and his friend, for some reason, they had a, a moment that week they graduated. They both, they went and played golf twice. They never played golf since. <laughs> when my dad told me, I was like, oh, what's Brett doing today? He was like, oh, he's playing golf. I was like, huh? What? <laughs> Since when? When has Brett ever played golf? And yeah, they had to get it out of their system, sure. Yeah. Anyway, they wouldn't play played golf. So. Um, you now see him as a golfer, and he's literally not. He doesn't even go play golf. <laughs> yeah, Mona, we're gonna play Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. Um, that's the plan. But. Anyway, what happened during the golf adventure first and never happened again? Honestly, do you know what probably happened? It was probably hot and miserable. And they did it twice and they were like, you know what? This isn't actually fun. I think they mostly just wanted to drive a golf cart around. Like, I think that was the main, but like, it, it's hot and not fun. So like, why would you want to do that? <laughs> I think they probably were like, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> the summer in Florida. I'm not into it. <laughs> no, I've never played golf in my life. Um, if there's one thing about me, it's that I'm, I'm not a sporty gal. I have absolutely zero athletic ability. I've never, never have. My siblings and my parents always kind of did. Like, my dad always played hockey, he played baseball in college. My mom got a golf scholarship her freshman 
freshman year of college. Um, not a big one, but she did get a couple hundred bucks on a golf scholarship her freshman year of college. Like, my parents, my family's always been kind of sporty. Not me. I possess zero talent in that way. None. So me playing tennis? I've never played tennis. I just haven't tried. Maybe I'd be good at it. And my sister, um, my sister did uh, like competitive cheerleading for a super long time. She's always been a really, really good tumbler. Like she, my sister can flip around. <laughs> she can do all kinds of things. Um, she would like throw a full in the grass in our front yard. Like my, my family is a lot more athletic than I am. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm e-sporty. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Competitive Stardew Valley. <laughs> really, Jackson? Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, I won the Stardew Valley tournament once, so. That's me. Esports professional. <laughs> so. Yeah, anyway, I've never, never been a sporty kind of gal, so. Um, okay. Go out to pee outside, little one. Oh, you peed by the, okay. The dog went and peed by my, by my rocket ship. That's no good. <laughs> That's no good. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> Fall Guys is sporty, you're right. You are absolutely right. Um, okay, 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 okay. Time to go sell that plate. Everyone's gonna go back to school and work today. I'm gonna see if I can get Honey promoted at work. I'll have them work hard, so. That is the goal. That's outside. I know, but there's something about it that doesn't feel as outside as the other places. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like something about this that doesn't seem like it's as outside. Maybe don't go into space because you've got work soon. Here, go watch TV. Go watch TV. And then you'll go to work at 10. You don't, you have work. Oh, have fun. Why are you upset? Oh, Poseidon's kiss. Okay. From the high maintenance trait. You're valid. That's, that's disgusting. You have a crush on Mara? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I haven't thought about where Gray's gonna live a ton yet. No, Alexa. We, we had a few ideas, but I'm not super sure where we'll have the same live when we move out. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on that yet. So I guess we'll see. Forgotten Hollow. I don't think I want to live in Forgotten Hollow. I was thinking about moving to the new world from the high school pack. Um, that might be kind of nice because I haven't lived there for like an extended period of time yet. So I might enjoy that. Um, we'll see. We will see. We also talked about Mount Komorebi a little bit. We had talked about that because um, that Sim, Raven, I think her name was, I think she had like the adventurous trait. And we sort of had this like, oh my God, we could like get into rock climbing. Like we kind of had that idea that might move to Mount Komorebi for it. So I might, I might do that too, the snowy escape world. Um, oh, Corrin's running away. Oh God. Oh God. That is no good. That is no, no good. Um, but yeah, I don't know where we'll live just yet. Something like that. Something like that will be the plan. Do you wanna go practice some singing? Maybe? We'll see. We will see. We need to max this skill though, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oops, oops. The gray gen's career, um, let me pull up the rules so I can show you. Uh, I'll tell you all the gray gen rules. Um, so for this generation, we need to um, 
have the active slob and music lover traits. You have the bodybuilder aspiration and the athlete career. You need to master the singing, parenting, and athletic skills. Uh, finish the athlete career and the aspiration. Have three failed relationships before finding your spouse, and you have to marry a neat sim because you're a slob. Um, and they also want you to have a movie night every Sunday with your family. I don't know why I made that rule, but I did. Uh, the idea was kind of like, I, I wanted to have a really close, tight-knit family for this gen. Um, so, <laughs> um, I don't know. That's the, the plan for the future generation when they have their own kids, so. Do you wanna come grab some food? It's very unpleasant weather in game today, isn't it? Indeed it is. Oh, is there no food? Oh my god, there's no food left? Okay, we have to cook something. Serve up some... Honestly, mac and cheese, that's easy. If you light that on fire, I'm gonna laugh at you. So be careful. <laughs> we need to make a couple things. We should just make like a little backlog of food to keep in the fridge. Because I had some and then I ate it all, so. Now you, want, now you want Mount Comb Rubby? Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards living there. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll see how we're feeling once we actually like start building the house. We're gonna do that, ooh, 13 days left. Yeah, we're not, we won't do that yet, but um, eventually, eventually we will build a new house for that gen. It'll be cool. Do you wanna make some tofu tacos maybe? Uh, sounds like fun. I like it. If we just get a couple extra meals in the fridge, I think we'll be all set. So. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, now you can go to bed. He's in a rebellious phase. Oh. And the alien is using the punching bag. Yeah, look at that though. He's got a rebellious phase happening. <laughs> He went through a breakup, now he's got a rebellious phase, terrible. Um, but, oh, you know, Luna, that's an interesting point. <laughs> but like, my house is full of ghosts all the time. So what's a guy in a giant costume, you know? I'll take it, whatever. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> all good with me, all good with me. Uh, Kristen with the 52 months, and Metronome, and Mar, and Tanaya, and Sophie, thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. Um, okay, let me look really fast. This, the ghost is like, oh, are you practicing acting? Who's Morgan Fox? I've never seen that guy in my life. Do you know him? What is he doing here? Now I'm scared huh he's being kind of intense yeah it's a little bit worrisome all right you can go take a shower maybe he was a butler or something i don't know i i also brought home a lot of graves with me that of sims that just like died in public um, like if I like saw a grave of some elder who died at the bar, I brought it home. So we have a lot of um, graves of literally random sims. So. Um, grave robber? No, I'm giving them a nice resting place. It's not a bad thing. Don't think of it like that. Think of it as me doing my best to not leave their graves at the bar. That's worse. To just leave them there? Like, they don't deserve that. You know? <laughs> um, okay, let me come get some leftovers. And then we'll all go to school and work. It'll be great. Oh, you still didn't get promoted. This is hard. We're level eight, almost, almost nine. We need to be 10 to finish the the game. Um, all right. All right, send students to class alone. Maybe you can cook some more food while you're here. 
do as much cooking as we can this morning. Kristen, thank you for the sub. Did I say that already? I don't remember. I think I did. Make a veggie casserole, maybe. Maybe. Um, okay. Sip and save? Oh god, you're right. I should save my game. <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, sure, Rex. Right. <laughs> People are just dying to get in Simsy's front yard. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good meme. Thank you. It's really nice, though, isn't it? Don't ever get bored of the game. What, of The Sims? Um, I think that, ooh. There's a fire again. That's very annoying. Um, so to answer your question, uh, not really that much <laughs> because I, I sort of obsessively play The Sims for a reason. Like, there's a reason that I'm a Sims YouTuber and it's not, it's not just that, like, you know, I, I don't know, I, I really like The Sims 4, right? Like, I really enjoy playing it. I guess, certainly sometimes, like, I'm not as into it as, as other times, right? But, um, there's just so much to do in The Sims that, like, when I'm feeling a little bit bored of it, I, I make up something else. I do a different challenge. I build a different kind of house. Like, I don't know. I, I've never really gotten that bored of The Sims. I'm, I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I know that a lot of people like kind of go through waves with The Sims where they'll like play it for a little bit and then put it back down and then pick it up again. But like, this is kind of my thing. <laughs> the Sims is like my lifeline. So <laughs> I don't really have that problem. Um, don't have the scene at all, done at all feeling. You know what? No, I don't. And dare I say, I've played The Sims a lot. There's still a lot in this game that I feel like I haven't really played through that well or played through that much. And there's also a lot of things that I haven't done in a long time, like the like a pack that came out eight years ago. Like, for example, I haven't played the detective career in literally ages, you know? So if I was feeling a little bit bored, I could pick up the get to work pack again, run a retail store. You know, like there's just, there's a lot of things to do in The Sims 4 now that um, I don't really get that bored of it anymore. But again, I'm the wrong person to ask because I like, I've been obsessively playing The Sims since I was like literally a child, so. <laughs> um, you know. All right, I'm gonna have you, maybe you should go do some more gym stuff. Do a rage-fueled run. Um. Let's see if we can get our skill up a little bit higher. That seems nice. Are they gonna let me preview Sims 5? Granola Mom, I would assume so. Um, but, oh, I'm in football practice. But The Sims 5 is literally years away. I cannot emphasize enough how far away The Sims 5 is. There has not been a peep about The Sims 5 to anyone, any of us. Like, the, there is not a single acknowledgement of this game even existing. We know, we know that they're making it because they're like hiring for a new game at Max It. Like, there, there's a lot of signs that this game is being made. They've kind of talked about it in EA, like earnings calls, but it's, it's ages away. It's nowhere near coming out. Like, I, dare I say, it could be like five years maybe. Like, I don't anticipate The Sims 5 coming out anytime soon. Um, which I know is kind of sad for a lot of us, but I, I, it's ages away. So, um, I don't anticipate seeing an announcement for like literally years. Like I, th this kind of thing is, um, I, I think it's really far away. <laughs> so, but I, um, to answer your question, they did a Sims 4 preview event. Obviously I wasn't there for it. Um, cause I wasn't a YouTuber at the time, but they did a Sims 4 preview event that like Molly went to. So I wouldn't be surprised if they did a preview event for the Sims 5, but that wouldn't happen anytime soon. There's, there's no, no mention of that literally at all, at all. So <laughs> that's a long ways away, unfortunately. Um, all right, do I think like The Sims 3 free too? You know what, I'm not sure. Um, Cause they made The Sims 2 free uh, for a little bit before they like lost the rights to be able to sell it. Um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did like a Sims 2 ultimate or a Sims 3 ultimate collection kind of sale. Um, but I don't know if they've got any um, plans for that anytime soon. Okay, take an angry poop. And then maybe you could watch a movie. 
I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, yeah, Snowy, I think a lot of people feel that way about it too. They're kind of like, I've spent so much money on The Sims 4, I don't want The Sims 5 to come out. But I don't know. I think back to like The Sims 3, Sims 4 transition. I was super anti Sims 4. <laughs> I was really angry about it. I was like, it has no toddlers. This is a stupid game. Um, and I still played The Sims 3 for a long time into The Sims 4 being out. And then I don't really know, like, nothing happened. I just sort of like started liking The Sims 4 more. I still love The Sims 3. I love that game. But like The Sims 4 runs better and it's got all this cool new stuff in it. And like building is so much more fun in The Sims 4. So I kind of started playing The Sims 4 more instead. They like sort of, um, I don't know. You, you kind of switch over yourself. Um, but it's not like when The Sims 5 comes out, The Sims 4 is just gonna cease to exist. Like, I, I can imagine that I'm gonna play The Sims 4 literally forever. Like, I'm gonna be playing this game, coming back to it very far into the future, I think. <laughs> you know? Um, but anyway. Um, anyway, it's definitely weird to think about, but it is one of those things that I, I think... Um, it's, it's almost like bittersweet, I guess, to be honest. Um, cause obviously so many of us have <laughs> dedicated so much to The Sims 4, it's weird to think about a new one. Plus the new game is probably gonna suck on release. Like it's gonna, if it's anything like The Sims 4, The Sims 4 base game, I think The Sims 4 base game now, in 2022, is a pretty solid game. Like I honestly, honestly really enjoy The Sims 4 base game now. I think they've done a lot to update it. It's got a lot of better stuff in it. The Sims 4 base game is, is solid now. I think that when The Sims 4 base game came out, it was not. It was not at all. Like, think about how much they've added to the base game since. Um, like, we didn't have toddlers, we didn't have pools, we didn't have ghosts. Um, basements didn't exist. Um, all of the, like, there's extra, like, roof tools you can adjust. The I literally could name off like 5 million things that they've added in updates. Platforms, the stair adjustments, um, like the, that's just building stuff. You think about like the pronoun stuff and even like the, um, the update let you customize your gender selections and like how in the base game you couldn't um, take off the clothing filters. Um, you, when it first came out, like if you were a masculine frame sim, you had masculine frame clothes. You couldn't like put a dress on a sim. Like, so they changed that, like they got rid of that. Um, did the skin tone update. Like they did so many things to change the base game. Um, they added Newcrest. Newcrest wasn't in the base game originally. Um, there, there's just so much more, so much more in the game now. Um, so the, even like likes and dislikes and lifestyles and story progression type stuff, all of that, like they've added so much to the base game um, since 2014. Half walls weren't originally in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so the base game was terrible when it first came out. Terrain tools. Um, terrain tools weren't in the base game. Um, but anyway, anyway, but it's a weird one for sure. I meant sentiments, not lifestyles, friends. Sorry, the sentiments is what I was trying to say. Um, like this. Oh. Oh, Grave had a bonding moment and Honey got hurt. Grave must have hit them in the face. Um. <laughs> um. Anyway. Anyway. Um. It's just wild how much has changed since the game first came out, so. Are they gonna play again? What is midnight? What are you doing? Um. What are you doing? Is there a date for the Dreamlight Valley update? I don't actually know. Does anyone in chat happen to know if they've given a specific date for the Dreamlight Valley update? Um, Cause I'd be really curious to, to find out. Um, October 17th through 23rd. Oh, do they just give like a range? Okay, that makes sense. So in a couple weeks, later in October. Okay, that checks out I think. Um, well, we'll play it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, says, and Aaron, thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, they hadn't set a specific date, but last week they said three weeks. Okay, that makes sense. So two weeks from now, generally. 
they might give a more specific date, a more specific date, like closer up to the, to the release. So, um, but anyway, let's see, what's it gonna be? They're gonna add, this isn't for The Sims, it's for Dreamlight Valley, it's a different game. Um, but they're gonna add Scar into it, <laughs> which is cool, so. But that's not The Sims, it's Dreamlight Valley. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think, I think, I think, maybe, let me make sure all my Sims, oh, save the game, we'll sleep through the night. Um, yeah, that Pixar event thing ends in like a week, so I guess maybe, the, are they gonna do a new one after that then? That'll be cool. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, Nice, they have a lot of like characters that were in the trailers. They're, they're gonna slowly add in, I assume, so. Um, I don't know, it's fascinating. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. If you haven't played it, Dreamlight Valley is a super fun game. We streamed it earlier today, actually. <laughs> I was live for three hours before I went live with this stream. Um, I'm getting a little bit anxious. I, <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on. I'm just feeling really anxious this afternoon for some reason. Um, okay, I think you need to get up and then go and eat some food. Tomorrow I leave for TwitchCon, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Um, maybe that is part of it. Ooh. <laughs> Um, that makes sense, Kristen. Yeah, that makes sense. The ghost is in poor Graves' room. Yeah, the ghost keeps doing this. Now it's Jedward. Everybody keeps trying to talk to this. No, I'll be live tomorrow, but I'm going to be live in the morning tomorrow, French. Um, I'll be live tomorrow. It's been forever since, it, since Hayden has been romantic with her partner. Oh, the alien is scared of getting cheated on. Okay, wah, wah. You'll get over it. It's fine. <laughs> Um, am I gonna stream from TwitchCon? I want to maybe try and do at least one IRL stream, but I'm not sure what day I'll be able to manage it. So I need to think about it a little bit more and then try and figure it out. Yeah, I cut my hair uh, last night public. Um, it's not my finest haircut on myself, which is not so good because I have to see people in person at TwitchCon this weekend. But, um, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. It, it's been worse. It's been better. Um, so that's kind of the situation at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Dan helped, but everybody kind of overestimates how helpful that actually is. Dan is actually not that helpful when it comes to um, helping with my haircuts because he's he's too cautious. He needs to like, just go for it. But like, he'll cut too little and then I have to be like, damn, it's uneven. Like you need to cut it more. And then he's like, I'm too scared of cutting too much. Okay, well don't, now he's to cut it like three times because you cut so little off that it's not even. Because I cut it in the front myself and I'm like, can you help me fix the back? And then it just, so it takes forever and then it's all choppy and, um, oh no, Kendra, it's not the length. I like the length of my hair. It's just really uneven. <laughs> so when you look at it, when it's like behind my ears and on stream, you know, only from this angle, it's fine. But in real life, it doesn't look that great, but it's not bad. Um, Want to go professional? Purple Nova. <laughs> um, so I started cutting my own hair in COVID. And then um, I've been to get a real haircut once since COVID. I was going to get my hair cut on Thursday. I had an appointment. Um, and then there was a hurricane. So what happened was I didn't go to my hair appointment. Um, and I did not get a, a haircut <laughs> from a professional. Um, so <laughs> to answer your question, um, my appointment was a no go on the day of the hurricane. <laughs> so, and then I didn't, I wasn't able to get it rescheduled and, and stuff in time, so I cut it myself. Um, not the worst of the things to have come from the hurricane, but that was one of them. <laughs> um, looks fine though? Yeah, I know, from on camera it looks fine. I've been cutting my own hair for months. I, I know it looks all right. Um, not months, literally years now, but it doesn't look that good in person. And so I'm just a little bit nervous about people being like, oh, look, her hair is choppy, which no one's actually going to think. But I mean, I'm going to see people in person for the first time in like years. So it's understandable. I'd be a bit nervous and self-conscious, you know, 
I think we all would, right? So, you understand. You understand. Anyway, friends, I'm really sorry, but I, I think I might get off stream a little bit early today. I don't know. Uh-oh. 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 I streamed once already this morning. Um, and I'm not... I don't know. I'm just not feeling like... Ooh. Super myself right now, I think. I might I might get off a little bit early. I'll be back tomorrow morning. We'll play some um, Dreamlight Valley together tomorrow morning. But I'm not feeling like 100% right now. I think I might... I don't know. It's hard to stream and be in front of people when I feel like this. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, so I'm, I might run if that's okay. Let me fix this problem first. There you go. Okay. And we'll play Harvest Fest next time. I think I'm going to play Not So Berry the day that I get back from TwitchCon. So on Tuesday. Um, well, that's a whole week away. Oh my god. Um, I'll play Not So Berry next Tuesday, I think, again. So that'll be fun. Um, we have some more progress to make. But um, let me go see who all is live. Maybe I'll find someone to raid. Um, who streams at 5.50 p.m.? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out. Um... Oh, you know what? This will be fun. Um, oh, let me let me pull up their stream so I can triple check that they're going to be live. Yeah, there's a streamer called Melixa um, who who plays a lot of Sims is building a family cottage right now, and that might be kind of fun to go say hi to and watch. What do you all think about that? Shall we go? Um, shall we go? I think so. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out tonight. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun gaming with you all today. We spent like five hours together. <laughs> um, so thank you for hanging out. Um, I'm going to run and I'm probably going to go clean my house a little, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but have a great, great, great rest of your night. Um, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Spoon and Kelly and Limes, thank you all for the subs. All right, all right. Go say hi to Melixa. Um, avoid scary gnomes and like these ones that will shock your sims apparently and i'll see you all tomorrow okay <laughs> okay goodbye <laughs> and stop streaming